Joining me now, host of the radio show America First and former deputy assistant to President Trump, Sebastian Gorka. Sebastian, it's great to see you. Uh, I'm sure your blood was kind of boiling when you were listening to this interview because mine certainly was the audacity for him to say, oh, there was no spying. You know, they can investigate whatever they want. There's nothing to see here. Let's be very clear, Stephanie. John Brennan is traitorous scum. This is a man who, before he was hired by the CIA, admitted in a polygraph lie detector test that he voted for Gus Hall, the Communist Party candidate for president. And then he joined the CIA. Who, who votes for the Communist Party and then joins the CIA? This is the person that Barack Obama raised to director of the Central Intelligence Agency and a man who just lied to the American people. There was no spying on the Trump campaign. Then what are the four FISA warrants, the secret court mandated warrants that were used to surveil people like Carter Page? He is a liar and he is absolutely treasonous. This is a man who last week, Stephanie, said that the killing of the Iranian scientist who's building nuclear bomb capability for Iran is a bad thing. Why is, why is John Brennan, whether it's the, the mullahs in Iran who want to destroy America and Israel, or whether it's the communists back in the 1980s, why is John Brennan always on the side of our enemies, Stephanie? Yeah, it's a great question and one that we don't really have answers to. Um, now, in this interview, we heard him say that, you know, there were some mistakes made and with the FISA, no big deal, but no criminal intent here. I mean, the fact that these mistakes were made with FISA makes anyone question whether we should have the FISA courts in general. If, if that's all it takes is a phony dossier to uh, open up uh, an investigation into a campaign. It's not mistakes. We, we, we have the DOJ memoranda of the meeting in the Oval Office with President Hussein Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, and Vice President Biden, who says on the record, use the Logan Act to get Flynn. That's how we get him. What do you mean mistakes, John Brennan? We now know because somebody's copped a plea deal. We have a DOJ lawyer who admitted he got a document from the CIA saying, Carter Page is one of us. He's a good guy. He's an asset. He's a friend of the CIA. And that lawyer literally, no, like, like white out in the old days. He changed the meaning of the document to mean the reverse, to say that he's a bad guy and he could be a Russian asset. That's not a mistake. That's not an oversight. That is a felony. And the idea that Brennan is walking around a free man, that Kamey, Stroke, McCabe are, are analysts, quote unquote, on the mainstream media, every single one of them should be charged with pellet felonies. And it is one of the most egregious failures of the Trump administration that William Barr and John Durham have done absolutely bloody nothing. They might as well be swamp creatures themselves, Stephanie. So it sounds like you're not really optimistic about this investigation going on into 2021. I mean, I would say a day late and a dollar short. If it wasn't done over these years, then how would we expect anything would be done in the next coming years? What we're talking about, let's be clear, in 2015 and maybe back to 2014, is we had the Obama administration for the first time ever since the National Security Act of 1947 use the CIA, the NSA, and the FBI to illegally spy on a presidential campaign for political purposes. We know that to be true. Watch the movie, The Plot Against the President. Read Lee Smith's book. Read anything by John Solomon, by Sarah Carter. We know these facts to be true, and not one person is in prison for why that happened. And John Durham and Bill Barr owed it to the American people to publish their findings on what happened in the last election before this election. And they didn't. And they have forsworn their oath to the American people. William Barr, you are a complete abject failure. Yeah, well, they said they didn't want to release this information before the election because they don't want to influence the election. But by them not releasing it, I would argue that they were influencing the election. 